everybody and welcome to yet another unboxing here on the two count and in this episode of the two count we are unboxing this month's pro wrestling loot now pro wrestling loot has continued to get better month after month they are putting in all sorts of exclusives completely and originally made by them which is incredible i'm excited to see what is inside the crate for this month to give you guys a heads up We've got a couple of new episodes coming to the channel. We were supposed to film while I was out in California. Um, the rains in California plus Kyle to lose power. We've got some interesting things that go on on this channel, folks. But that said, hell or high water, we're going to film some new videos. You're going to get some new content coming to the channel. But until then, I ask you to please like this video. It really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel. We're asking you guys to kick out with us. Now, without further ado, Let's see what is inside Pro Wrestling Loot for the month of January. It's the first Pro Wrestling Loot of the year. Um, okay. To look for the edges. It's a thinner box than normal. Um, we should be getting the last piece of the Marty Scroll puzzle. If you've been following along, they've been giving us a piece of Marty Scroll artwork per month that's going to lead to one giant piece of artwork. Uh, once it's completed, I'll post it up on my Instagram so everyone can take a look and see how that netted out. Um, they've been doing some originally designed shirts. They've now got their own figure. So this box is catching on fire. It's the least expensive out of all of the crates. I'd suggest you give it a look. Let's see what's inside the box for this month. All right. Got a soft style shirt, which I'm always a big fan of. And I always start with my t-shirts. And this shirt says Body Slam. Now, I always typically don't like when they do a t-shirt that is not built around a wrestler. That said, I mean, I think this is a pretty cool design. Um, it says Body Slam. It's a black t-shirt. It's got a red little box on it with some lines. Um, it's not a bad shirt. My guess is this will wind up in the sleep pile as opposed to the wear during the day pile. It is really soft and comfortable, but again, not horrible. Like the t-shirt, it's it's not bad. All right, moving on to the next item in the box. So with the next item, we have the pin of the month. And last month we had Kenny Omega, I believe. We had a Kenny Omega character, which makes this even more fitting. We have his opponent at Wrestle Kingdom, Tanahashi. You can see this is a great pin. There is a lot of detail in this artwork uh, of Tanahashi, um, and I really like it. It's actually the only thing I own of Tanahashi. I'm not his biggest fan or supporter, but this will go in the collage, and I like it a whole lot. He's kind of generic Tanahashi. I don't really, I'm not a big fan. You guys let me know. Do you like Tanahashi? Yeah, he's not my guy. Um, I am obviously a big Omega fan, so maybe that has something to do with my disdain for him. But then again, I like Naito, I like all of LA, uh, Los Incarnables, I, I, I just don't like Tanahashi. Alright, so we have the DVD of the month, and it is SoCal Pro Wrestling on September 15th. So it's actually relatively recent. Um, the main event is really interesting. We've got a main event of Ultimo Dragon vs. Pentagon Jr. Talk about old school, new school. Um, I'm really excited by that. The rest of the guys on this, I'm not really familiar with. The heavyweight championship is defended by Dirty Doug versus Anthony Idol, True Grit versus Prey. These are all guys that are um, SoCal, SoCal exclusive to SoCal Pro Wrestling. I believe the owner of that wrestling, I'm um, sorry, the owner of Pro Wrestling Loot is some way affiliated with SoCal Pro Wrestling, so this would make sense. I'm gonna check it out anyway. Always game to find indie talent. With AEW launching, you never know where talent's coming from. Given that the boys of the elite are from SoCal, maybe one of these guys is going to become a talent that they develop. So I'm definitely going to check this out. If not for nothing else, then the Ultimo vs. Pentagon match. That should be fire. Um, but hey, pretty cool DVD to include. Moving on to the next item, we have our bag. And our bag is always filled with the artwork and the cards and the things like that that I've told you about are fantastic about pro wrestling loot. They wanted us to know before anyone that there is going to be an autographed wrestling superstar. Um, I'm definitely renewing next month. Um, I had actually originally intended to skip, but I will keep it open. I'm very curious to see who the next superstar will be. Um, so if you haven't seen the superstars, go back to the last video. I will link it in the, bio, uh, in the description to this episode. It was Ricardo Rodriguez. They're really cool. They're kind of... They're almost a little bit like... They're not like an action figure type of thing, and they're not like rubbery like pro wrestling loot. 
They're almost more of, it feels kind of quasi ceramic, um, but they're really cool little statues that are wrestling figures. I, I like them. Um, all right, now, just as I anticipated, we have the next piece of the villain Marty Scrolls artwork. I'm gonna put this together, check out Instagram. Let me know what you guys think. If you don't follow me and it's on Instagram, it is at the underscore the, at the underscore two underscore count. Um, and you'll be able to see what this whole picture looked like when it came together. Or you could go back and check the past four pro wrestling loot unboxings to see what each of the individual pieces looked like. And that'll give you a feel of what the complete collection looked like. But overall, I think this is going to look pretty cool when it gets put together. Now, again, new to pro wrestling loot, they do a series of custom trading cards. I've been putting them in the collage. They've been great. This has this is actually the best designed one I've seen yet. A lot of them are very cartoony. This is amazing. It is a start of a new series. So series three, number one, it is the snake, Jake the Snake Roberts. That is a fantastic piece of artwork. Um, and it's actually the most realistic image they've done yet. So I'm excited. If this is the trend of the new series, Jeff, you've nailed it. I think this is perfect. All right, and as always, we get our autograph of the month. Um, and I'm really excited to see who it is. Um, Oh, nice. So I have Pentagon Jr.'s autograph already sitting upstairs. I got it from that wrestling club from their store, um, that wrestling shop a few weeks ago. Pentagon was one I always wanted. And they just finished the Lucha Brothers for me. So this is obviously Phoenix. Um, for those of you who do not know, this is amazing. This is exactly the types of autographs you want to get when you get some of these more indie-based crates. Um, so now I have Pentagon Jr. in Phoenix. I have the Lucha Brothers. I'm going to have to reorganize some stuff anyway. So I'm going to be putting these two guys next to each other. That is fantastic. So we've got the card that recaps everything. You've got the Phoenix autograph. You've got the Body Slam t-shirt. <laughs> suplex your buddy with this great new Suplex t-shirt. Um, am I the only one who seems a little bit confused? Shouldn't it be body slam your buddy with this great new body slam t-shirt? Maybe a typo. Maybe it was supposed to say suplex. I don't know. Um, a wrestling DVD, the art, Marty Scroll artwork, which by the way, there you go. That's what it's going to look like all together. Um, and you've got your pin and your trading card. I will give you guys one last look. So you've got the Phoenix autograph. You've got the villain artwork. You've got the Jake the Snake trading card. You've got the announcement that coming next month to Pro Wrestling Loot is their next superstar figure, which is going to be autographed. Uh, I'm curious to see if they'll actually include a regular autograph as well. They've done that sometimes. You've got your SoCal, what is it? SoCal Super Clash DVD. You've got your Tanahashi IWGP Heavyweight Champion Tanahashi pen. And you have your body slam, or apparently suplex, t-shirt. So that is it for pro wrestling boot for the month, folks. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on. Remember, we want you guys to kick out with us. So with that, again, look out for the next couple videos coming to the channel. I've got some backlog stuff I'm going to be releasing over the next day or two. And we're getting into the camera again shortly. So... Y'all have yourselves a great night. I look forward to chatting next time. Bye.